our diocesan prayer for vocations. O oh God, hear our prayer and let our cry come unto you. Bless our Diocese of Savannah with many vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, and religious life. Give the men and women you call the light to understand your gift and the love to follow always in the footsteps of your priestly son. Amen. Please join in singing the processional hymn, Love Divine, O Love Success. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those who live in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. This word of the Lord came to me. Go, cry out this message for Jerusalem to hear. I remember the devotion of your youth, how you loved me as a bride, following me in the desert in a land unsown. Sacred to the Lord was Israel, the first fruits of his harvest. Should any presume to partake of them, evil would befall them, says the Lord. When I brought you into the garden land to eat its goodly fruits, you entered and defiled my land. You made my heritage loathsome. The priests asked not, where is the Lord? Those who dealt with the law knew me not. The shepherds rebelled against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal and went after useless idols. Be amazed at this, O heavens, and shudder with sheer horror, says the Lord. Two evils have my people done. They have forsaken me, the source of living waters. They have dug themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that hold no water. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. The Responsorial Psalm. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. With With you you is the fountain fountain of life, O Lord. Lord. O Lord, your mercy reaches to heaven, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your justice is like the mountain of God, your judgments like the mighty deep. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. How precious is your mercy, O God. The children of men take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They have their fill of the prime gifts of your house. From your delightful stream, you give them to drink. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Keep up your mercy toward your friends, your just defense of the upright of heart. With With you you is is the the fountain fountain of life, O Lord. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Why do you speak to the crowd in parables? He said to them in reply, Because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has, more will be given and he will grow rich. From anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they took, but they took, look, but do not see, and hear, but do not listen or understand. Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled in them, which says, you shall indeed hear, but not understand. You shall indeed look, but never see. Gross is the heart of this people. They will hardly hear with their ears. They have closed their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and be converted, and I heal them. But blessed are your eyes, because they see, and your ears, because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm uh, fairly sure that most of you are familiar with the expression that the only thing that changes in this whole world is change itself. And uh, I think that's certainly true in our readings today as we hear about human nature. Human nature does not change. It's the same now as it was in the time of Christ and in the time of Jeremiah. If we go back to the the first reading in Jeremiah, we hear God speaking through the prophet, and he's lamenting about the Israelites and their lack of faith. And he says, as when I took you out of Egypt and brought you through the desert, you were faithful. But then I led you into the promised land, and you turned your back on me. You rejected me. You abandoned me. Now that's so true of human nature, isn't it? 
They, they, they turned to idols. They turned to the worship of things that were local, uh, the local people were. And they turned their back on the true God. And it is so true of human nature. When we're in good times, uh, we tend to turn away from God. But when we're in need or when we're hurting, we tend to turn to God. And, and I think that it doesn't take uh, a lot of, uh, of uh, thought to see that in our society today, to see that in our country today. As we become more wealthy as a country, as we become more wealthy as individuals, we've turned our back on God more. And we see today that the attendance in church and, 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 and those that follow Christ and believe in Jesus Christ is becoming less and less as we turn to thinking that we ourselves have done this, that we are our own little gods, that we are the ones that have, have earned what we have. We don't look to the gifts that God has given us. And as a result, our society has become more definite. What used to be perceived as evil is now perceived as good. And what used to be perceived as good is now seen as evil. And I think that if we turn to uh, the gospel reading, we hear Jesus say, in the gospel, Jesus quotes from Isaiah, Gross is the heart of this people. They will hardly hear with their ears. They have closed their eyes. But then he tells the apostles and us, But blessed are your eyes, because they see, and your ears, because they hear. He is looking to us. He is looking to you and I to be his light in the world. He is looking to us to shine brightly, to, to, to be that light that's on the mountaintop, to be that light that's on the top of the houses, to bring his goodness into this world and to be there for those who need us. His church, his church, you and I, we have that responsibility to be out there reflecting Christ and reflecting the light of Christ. We are to be the salt of the world, right? So we must not hide that under a bushel basket. Like I said, we need to put it on the top of the highest peaks and on the top of our houses and, and let others see it. We need to be Catholic proud. You know, a little bit more of Jesus in every one of our lives is a good thing. And we should strive to do that in our personal lives as well as reflecting that to others. Let us stand and bring our prayers and petitions before the Lord our God. For the church, may all that we receive from Christ continue to conform us ever closer to his side. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in positions of authority, may God grant them wisdom to listen well and see the needs of the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who long to see and hear God, but struggle with doubt, may they be given faith and strength to persevere. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in this faith community, who use their gifts as, as catechists. May the Lord continue to nurture them in faith and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 
COVID-19, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace throughout our country and peace throughout our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy and compassion, hear the prayer spoken before you this day, that those we hold in the silence of our hearts. Answer them in your time. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise of the Lord. For our good all the Oh God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion buried offerings of the law, accept, we pray, the sacrifice from your faithful servants, and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that when each is offered to the honor of your majesty, may benefit the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choir of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. <laughs> Thanks for it. 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I choose to be one with you, Jesus. I want your heart next to my heart, your soul next to my soul, your body inside my body and your blood running through my veins. And once your infinite divinity to fill me completely, Jesus, I want to be one with you in my thoughts, feelings, and desires, in what I say and do and what I do not do because of you. I embrace you now inside of me. Jesus, I love you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord. And lead those who have been viewed with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Amen. I will be our angel. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, for us into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Please join in singing the recessional hymn, The Spirit Sends Us Forth. 